Porto Greenwave are a household name when it comes to playoff appearances. The team brings back a lot of promising talent, but replacing an All-American is one challenge to go along with high expectations. Our Tommy Lopez has more from the Gordo Greenwave on the last stop for Alabama Week on our high school football tour. WCBI 60 Schools in 60 Days is brought to you by Toyota, Let's Go Places, and Emerson Animal Hospital, where your pets are family in West Point. The streak of 17 consecutive playoff appearances only tells part of the story for Gordo High School. The expectations are a state title each and every year for the Green Wave. With a lot of pieces returning in Alabama, fourth year head coach Ryan Lolly and his players aren't lowering any of those standards. We've got a good group of guys returning, and uh, you know, we've got a group that's working extremely hard, and that's what you know, we're trying to just focus on little things, not, not be so concerned with the big picture. We know if we take care of the little things, the big things are going to take care of themselves. We're excited about this upcoming season. You know, we go around here, stay the same every year. State championship with us. Ben Davis is now with the Crimson Tide. He's one of the most athletic high school football players in the last decade in the state of Alabama. Replacing his efforts on both sides of the ball will be tough. He's an Under Armour All American playing at the University of Alabama. If somebody falls into that, that's awesome for us. We focus on taking what talent this, our guys have, make them be the best player they, they can be. And you're not going to place a guy like Ben. He's a hard worker. He's blessed. He got all the tools. And I mean, we just got to come together and just work hard. Like Lee said, we got folks who work as hard as Ben, but nobody can match up with him. I'm going to try to be the one to fill them shoes, but it's going to take a whole a lot more than just me. It's going to take a whole team to be, able to be a be person like him because he has so much impact on the game by himself, like everybody had their eyes on him. Gordo feels like the returning starters on this team have what it takes to reach their goals this season. Some of the best leaders we've had in a while are our seniors this time, so, uh, you know, they, they've got some uh, wars under their belt, so to speak, so, you know, we, we look forward to seeing them in action. The Green Wave is working toward getting over the hump in the postseason this time around. The work ethic, no doubt. The conditioning, the lifting, everything we've done this summer, they have been pushing through it as well as anybody we've had. And uh, I think it's just a credit to the hard work that a lot of them has put in over the past few years. I do, no doubt. Coach has got a good plan for us. we got guys who can work hard. we got fast people, strong people. We've got good guys around us, and I feel like we can be just as good, if not better. Lolly also tells our Jonathan Flippo that the last state title win is 2001 for Gordo. The Green Wave reached the state semifinals last season, going 13 and 1 each of the past two years. 60 schools in 60 days with Gordo High School was brought to you by Shop and Save, Mini Motors, Vernon Dental Clinic, and Alpha Agent Alicia Clark. Coming up this week on our high school football tour, we return to the Magnolia State. Tomorrow you'll hear from the Aberdeen Bulldogs. Monday we visit Coach Zane Thomas and the Hatley Tigers. Tuesday it's the Moorville Super Troopers. We'll hear how they're prepping for the 2016 season. And last but not least, Wednesday we head to Nettleton to visit the Tigers. And of course, for the complete list of the tour schedule, check out our website, WCBI.com.